Hello there guys and welcome to part 6 of our Java gaming programming tutorials. Today we're going to go ahead and go inside our main um, uh, class here, our main asteroid class where all basically uh, all the brains are located basically where we do all the detection, basically where we draw all the graphics and so on. Basically everything happens in, the, in this class. So for today's tutorials, we're gonna go and create our main class, and um, we're gonna go ahead and declare our variables, and uh, and so we want this should be it shouldn't be uh, over ten minutes. It should be a quick, um, a relatively short tutorial. So we're gonna go ahead and declare our variables and initialize a few things. So let's go ahead and begin by creating or adding a new class, and I'm gonna call it asteroids. There we go. And finish. Alright, we're gonna go ahead here and extend. So we will extend the applet. And we're gonna implement a few interfaces. So let's implement the runnable interface and also the kill listener interface. Then, if you see, uh, then you should go ahead and import the uh, Java applet and the also let's go ahead and import here another one. Import the Java dot awt that event. Or let's just import the whole library, make it easier. There we go. And we have a kill listener here. And let's go ahead and implement. And let's go ahead and add our un unimplemented methods. Although we will go over these methods, we're gonna um, go over these methods later on. For today's tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and basically um, initial uh, declare variables and get started. Let's go ahead up here and type the asteroid. So let's leave a comment here so we can better understand our code. The asteroid class is the main class of the game oh. and it inherits oh, what happened there let's go here it inherits all the public methods and properties applet class it also implements let me implement the runnable and kill listener interfaces Alright, let's leave our get started like that. Now let's go inside our class here and let's start by declaring some variables here. First let's go ahead and put a comment up here. You can also leave a comment by a double slash there, let's do it that way. So let's go ahead and begin by having our main thread here. So let's call it the game. So we're gonna let's call it the um, main game loop and let's declare this one so we to do that we type thread and I'm gonna call it game loop alright next down here let's go ahead and we're gonna create so let's go ahead and create uh, type it first and we can leave a comment so this is called buffered image and let's call it back image this is gonna be a, a double mm, back buffer. So it's a buffer where we wanna hold some data here. And let's go ahead and include the image class there. So make sure you include buffered image AWT or you can just remove the buffer there and put an asterisk. So it includes everything. 
that will be better next let's have let's have a graphics like 2d graphics so to do that we type graphics 2d and I'm gonna call it g2d for graphics 2d and this is um, draws all the components components there we go and now let's have a boolean variable here and show bound and set it equal to false so what this will do this will toggle toggle between bounds Here we go. Let's leave it like that. Again, you you can definitely you just write your own comments there, guys. I'll basically make it whatever makes it more cl uh, clear for you. And down here, is let's go ahead and create um, the. Uh, let's gonna create the asteroid array. So to do that, I'm gonna type asteroids and. Uh, there's going to be a data type of int and I'm going to have 20 and let me just leave another comment here and this is going to be the number of asteroids and let's go ahead and create our basically call our class here and create an uh, an array of objects of, of the class asteroid which we created before before remember we created this class here called asteroid so we're gonna call that to in order to create the uh, asteroid objects here so to do that let's go ahead and type asteroid which is the name of our class we're gonna have an array of that an array of objects and let's call it AST for asteroid and set that equal to the new asteroid and let's go ahead and pass it the variable we declare initialized which is called asteroid and let's do the same thing here now we're going to create the uh, bullet array all right let's call it in bullets and i'm going to set this equal to 10 so we want we want 10 bullets to be in the buffer of the same time no more than that so this is going to be the number of bullets the same thing remember we had a class create a bullet we're going to create an array of this object so we won't have multiple bullets because if we just if we just call the one you know, we're going to only have a single bullet firing um, but we uh, at, at a time once we every, every time we call this we're going to only fire one bullet but we actually want to fire multiple bullets do that let's type call the class it was called bullet and I'm gonna call this bull for bullet and set that equal to a new bullet and make sure it's in brackets and, uh, and let's go ahead and pass it the bullets alright now let's create the player ship the player ship here to do that we just call remember we also had a ship class to do that we only need one ship so we don't need to this is our ship class to so we don't need to have an array of ships so to do that we only type ship which is the name of our class and I'm gonna call it player ship and set that equal to a new ship this is gonna be our ship object next let's have here the we're gonna have the identity transform alright and here to do that we're gonna type fine transform I spelled this wrong transform and I'm gonna say af for fine for fine and then transform trans Form. Let's set this equal to a new line transform. Trans
this form. Alright. What this does is this will actually uh, take the points um, that we s um, basically for our bullets here, uh, or so for our for our ship we have coordinates, and for our asteroids we have coordinates. And this uh, using this here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, draw those points. And, this and and using the graphics, we're gonna draw those points. So this will basically so so we can create those shapes based on the points we specified in the in the previous classes. And to use this, uh, we're gonna go ahead and include the AWT here. So make sure you include the AWT geo geo uh, so geometric, and then the FN transform. You can remove that and put the asterisk there. Uh, that will include everything basically that's located inside that sub library of the AWT library. And finally, we will need here um, a random number generator. The reason for this generator is basically this will generate random numbers, we'll, and we can set those numbers to to be the coordinates for the asteroids to appear on the screen. We don't want the asteroids to appear in the same position all all the time, so we can generate random positions for the asteroids to appear. So we can so we can make the game much more interesting instead of uh, making the asteroid appear in, uh, uh, at the same initial location so let's type random I'm gonna call it rand new random and make sure here make sure you input the import the java utility this the library and then put the asterisk there so you can include everything and make sure you save this so this is what we went over for today, guys. We declared, uh, we created our, basically declared, initialized our asteroid objects, our graphics, and our buffers and thread, and our our main thread, our random generator, and our affine transforms. Um, next, uh, we're gonna go over and uh, go inside of our methods and start and start defining some of, of our methods, basically our in initializers and our and so on. So next tutorial, we're gonna start uh, from from. Basically, we're going to start at that point, so we're going to start with our initializer, basically to initialize everything and then move on from there. So thank you for watching this tutorial, guys. I know it went uh, over uh, 10 minutes. Well, it, it ran a lot longer than I thought, but I hope you guys understood this and liked this tutorial. And please, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do that and leave comments with uh, suggestions or concerns. And please check out all my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching this tutorial, guys, and we'll be back with another tutorial extremely soon. Thank you for watching.